Right, a good place to ask important questions uh, that happened today. And perhaps the first question that we need to know is uh, what didn't President Uru Kenyatta tell us? What does what he did today signify? And I'm joined now by Professor Fred Ogola to talk about this. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. Perhaps a good question will be what is it that you think from where you stand as a political commentator, political analyst, that you think the body language, what the president said today, reveals more than what he did not say? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much. You know, the coming of the president to this scene, there has been a lot of doubt. Who is sending Kanini Kega? Who is sending Sabina Chege? There have been rumors that they are being sent by Huri Kenyatta, pretending that he still supports Raila, but actually he's supporting some people from Mount Kenya to rock Jubilee okay. and to get Jubilee out of Azimio. So I'm sure that was very critical by him coming to stand there by saying that Jubilee is still intact, Jubilee is a party, he's the party leader and Jubilee is still intact under Azimio. That was a statement that could only be done if you came in person. By, we could not do that by issuing a statement. Because the president no one could have believed him. No one could have believed him. Yeah. The other thing which is also very important that uh, you say here, you know, President Uhuru Kenyatta is a prince of peace. You can say what you like. He has just received an award uh, in Ethiopia for being a peace negotiator. And I'm sure he preached peace here. He said, let us have peace. And he said that if, uh, if Kenya Kwanzaa knows they won an election through Kenya Kwanzaa, what business do they have? So the message was being sent here that Kanini Kega and Sabina Chege and their own people are I, rather being sent by Kenya Kwanzaa scammers rather than being sent by him himself because people had that doubt. Okay. So it's very clear now that Kanini Kega and Sabina Chege are not agents of anybody in Jubilee, but okay. they are agents of someone who is coming from outside. Okay. And of course, you also, if you want to understand what this comes clearly, his message was also very clear that if Kenya Kwanzaa legitimately won the election using their own coalition, what is their, bi what is their business of coming to disrupt party? That's why I said he doesn't want external interference in Jubilee Party. Mm -hmm. He wants Jubilee Party to be strong. But also you have to understand that there's something here very interesting. Look at the number of the number of members of parliament elected and the representative here, I've had a discussion, someone says that would President Uhuru Kenyatta lose his retirement benefits. But also, you know, there's money in Jubilee. Okay. And uh, the fight for this thing is about that the if Sabina Chege uh, yeah. and uh, Kanini Kega takes control of the party, they take control of the of political the fund. Okay. It's the fund. Because mm -hmm. who is the party? Uhuru Kenyatta could wake up with these people and form a political party tomorrow, and they'll have followers. But now you cannot move that account because you believe that has got that political party's benefit. Okay, quite interesting. So, yeah. do you see an end to the squabbles and the push and pull in the Jubilee party between these two teams with this single action that has been taken? I don't see it uh, all too late because last week the uh, the tribunal spoke right yes. and they sent them back to the drawing board go and exhaust all the internal uh, dispute resolution mechanism do you see this ending because of this single act by the former president yes because you see that what is the ro role and the powers of the party leader uh, after speaking that there'll be peace within the party and he said that for those who do not believe in the party they should leave Meaning that if Kanindi Kega and Sabina Chege feel like they are rebel within Jubilee, mm -hmm. they actually should leave because the party constitution is very clear. And who has spoken? The party leader, not the deputy party leader, not the secretary general like uh, uh, Kioni. Kioni. Yeah. And of course, coming in the midst of this chaos the way they were there, shows that the president is saying that this party is very important to him. And of course, remember that uh, some of the people now in Kenya Kwanzaa were in Jubilee and they left Jubilee. This was also another mistake to say that Jubilee is taking a tangent of its own. And you know, let me tell you what, uh, um, uh, 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 Ken. You know, if, if, we, if we vote people to power, who do not have social capital like Uhuru had social capital, Kibaki had social capital, some people only have financial capital, which means they buy their way into government. They can only continue by buying people, uh, sending people like uh, Kanini Kega and the rest, using money to influence, because they have no social capital. Okay. And that's why the economy is suffering, because now, look, at the center stage is politics, which party, who is the party leader, we should be fo focusing on fixing the economy. And I think the former president was very clear. Let 
Kenya Kwanza focus on delivering to the people, okay. let them leave political parties aside and focus on the economy. How does this undermine his standing? Because one, he's the only retired president. We know we didn't see Jomo Kenyatta actively because he dies in he died in office. Yes. But even after President Moi left, he kept off politics completely. And we had President Kibaki kept off politics completely. Now we have a President Uhuru Kenyatta, and you see President Uhuru Kenyatta is very active. How does this compromise his standing as an elder, as a, a former president in this country? First of all, I don't think there's something wrong there because you have to understand circumstances are very different. Look at how this government came to office. Mm -hmm. Look at the behavior of this government. Uh, as I told you, this government is a government that lacks social capital. And because they lack social capital, they are, when President Uhuru Ruto, Ruto came into power, you've seen what he has done. He has been trying to consolidate the power too much and suppressing the opposition. There are some MPs who have been bought. This Sabina Chege and Kanini Kega met him in his state house. So you can actually say he engineered the fall of Jubilee in this means. Okay. And I'm sure that you see Uhuru Kenyatta didn't do to Moi's party because actually didn't do to Kibaki's party because actually Kanu was in his coalition. Mm -hmm. And here we are finding whereby the party of the former president for the first time is not in the ruling coalition. Uh, remember the one for, uh, for, uh, one for Moi that was Kanu, it is Uhuru who was leading that party and he didn't do what Kanini Kega is doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that it should not be looked at Uhuru. Do you want him to just keep quiet mm -hmm. when people are bungling a party? I think he's coming back by saying we have to live in political parties, we have to live in the power of democracy, we have to follow the constitution, and let us not interfere with political parties. Okay. Weakening opposition mm -hmm. is not the way to go. Okay. And I'm sure that the president has demonstrated leadership. He just come and preach peace. Okay. And I'm sure that we won't judge him uh, harshly because there are so many things the president has been quiet about. Okay. And I'm sure this was something that was urgent. Then you can't keep quiet, for example, like the, the, his farm was invaded that one he kept quiet. He's kept quiet about many things. But you see, this one is a matter of time. Okay. If you keep too much quiet, mm -hmm. you wake up and find when everything is gone. Okay. Dr. Fredo Gola, thank you so much for yes. speaking to us tonight. Dr. Fredo Gola is a scholar and he is also a political analyst and uh, Asante Sana, I hope to see you in the coming weeks, uh, coming back to uh, KTN. Away from that, let's talk about some other stories making headlines because Azmiyo leader Raila Dinga is expected